My husband and my daughter went for a walk and I turned the house down. I was washing dishes and um, just, you know, putting things away and they came back from their walk and uh, we just wanted to peek in on the twins. We did this often. Um, we just like to watch them sleep and they just always look so cute. So so we, op I, I opened the door first and my husband was behind me and Maddie was behind my husband. And when I opened the door, I looked in, into my twin's bedroom and I saw that my daughter was in the corner of her crib sitting in an unnatural position. She was up against the corner of her crib with her head down and I knew something was wrong immediately. And I ran to her and I grabbed her and when I grabbed her that's when I saw that there was a cord around her neck. And uh, I released the cord from her neck and you know everybody's screaming at this point crying and you know when I held her she was cool to the touch so I knew that she was gone immediately I knew you know my my life completely and totally fell apart my family you know fell apart and um, it, it, it was very difficult time for us and I didn't understand what happened and I had a friend explain to me that my daughter had had pulled on the cord that ran in between the slats of the blind, not on the pull cord, and that cord pulled out and formed a loop which she put around the ne her neck and strangled on. And um, I, I just didn't understand. I thought I was the only one. And it wasn't soon after this that I received a letter in the mail from a man who told me that I was not the only one. In fact, there was hundreds of parents who had lost their children from window covering blinds all over the nation. And I said, well, why isn't someone doing something?